Nathan, mm -hmm. Fortnite. You can only play it on three types of consoles. PC, yep. console, yep. and your phone. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna to be looking at what is possibly the best smartphone to play Fortnite on. When you're playing it on mobile, you only have two options. Android or iOS. That's what we're checking out today. We're gonna to be building out the ultimate Fortnite mobile gaming experience. How can you increase your game on your phone? So to start things off, we have the Note 9. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this. Look at that. It I feel looks like good. level three is pretty bad. Yo, shut <laughs> up. I have not played season seven yet. I played like one game. But as you guys can see, the Note 9, I mean, compared to the normal iPhone, the screen is more gaming oriented. It's wider. More cinematic. It's more cinematic. On top of that, there's no notch. So you don't have any like excess bits at the end of your screen to play on. You know, it gets uncomfortable holding a phone. What can we do to make it better? Make it like a console. Make it like a console. Like a gaming controller. So, we have this lovely adapter, as well as these buttons, which we are going to use to make it better. So one thing that happens when you play a lot of games on your phone, you hold the phone like this when you're playing a game, and your hands get tired and they become uncomfortable, or you get kind of uneasy because mm -hmm. you're in this position. This contraption here will make it that much more comfortable so that you can perform better and play longer. Yes, so let's see what it's like. We got it, you just slide your phone in like this, you pull it, ooh, ooh. So it's spring-loaded, so spring -loaded. It's, you know it's gonna be secure. And just like that, it feels like a console. Yeah, it's not bad. It actually does add a lot of grip to your phone. Your hands aren't as cramped as they would be without it. It's you have more, I would say, agility and movement capabilities with your thumbs mm -hmm. when it's like this, as opposed to just holding on to the phone, which you would use some of your phone or your pinky, I guess, to hold onto the screen while you're yeah. moving, making movements with your thumb. No, it's pretty good. And then there's also these other button adapters that you can use, which will help you shoot and jump and all that kind of stuff. So these are basically like an additional button. When you're gaming on your phone, you only have two options. You have your left and your right thumb. While you're holding your phone, your index fingers aren't doing anything. This, these contraptions will allow you to add two more buttons mm -hmm. while you're gaming on Fortnite. Yeah, so they're pretty useful. You attach it on like this. Yep, you slide it in and then there is a little tiny latch here at the bottom. You pull it down and that sort of locks it into place. And then what you need to do is you need to go into your settings and then you need to do the HUD layout. And then what you do is you move one of your controls over there. So I'm gonna move the jump. I want the jump to be where this would normally be. So this is lined up, right? That's pretty good. I want the jump to be right underneath. Come on right there what is that is that right underneath that's pretty right underneath pretty close. look at that right there so we're gonna set okay apply so now every time he clicks this button with his index finger not his thumbs mm -hmm. he'll jump yeah so we're gonna show you the eyes that quickly i feel like you can do it with the other one as well so you can have two going usually i'd put jump on another one and then use this one to shoot or this one to aim but we're just gonna set up one just to show you guys how capable it is each of these contraptions each of these pieces alone would definitely help your Fortnite game. This one for being more comfortable and this one for adding an additional button. Yeah. Which most mobile gamers wouldn't be using. Yeah. Even if you just got the two buttons without the grip, it's also amazing. I mean, it's just, you know, it ups your level of control. That's what it does. But here we go. So as you guys can see, I'm moving, I'm aiming. Now without moving my aim, I can jump. Ooh, that's not bad, huh? Look, look at that and I, oh wow. That's actually, I know you don't game, but that is actually pretty impressive. And of course the Note 9 screen, one of the best panels on any smartphone this year. It, that is cool. It looks good. So you're basically upping your game by 50% to what everybody else is using on mobile Fortnite. Instead of having to move your thumb to jump, that's the move, you gotta use the other thumb to look. Around? There we go. Okay, he's a noob. He's, a, he's one of those people who shoots the ground. So if you do set up the other one, you can use that one as aim or you can use it for um, another button if you'd like. Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm Guess ready. we won. Look at, look at, look at, we just, <laughs> this, that was a, oh my gosh. All right, now I'm not gonna lie. This was actually a pretty cool investigation that we did. We do believe that this is the ultimate Fortnite mobile gaming setup. You have the Note 9, you have the additional grip and you have the external buttons. You do have two of them if you wanted to include both. 
Let's put that on. To add four buttons Look instead of three. Let us know in the comments below if you think this is the ultimate Fortnite mobile setup. You can also use this for PUBG or any other FPS game on your mobile device. Or if you have a better setup or you think you have a better setup yeah. to this, let, let us, us know, know what that is. We'll try it out. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you're new.